Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of PyTest, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about markers in PyTest. So let's get started. In PyTest, we can mark any test methods with user-defined markers like smoke, sanity, regression, or any name you can give while marking the test method in PyTest. These are user-defined markers. So let me practically demonstrate this user-defined markers in PyTest for you. So how to, how to mark the test methods? We have to write this at the right PyTest.mark.any any name, you, any user-defined marker name you can give here. This line you have to write before the test method. So let me show you this practically. I'll switch to this PyCharm ID where we have the sample project having some test methods created inside this Python files, test sample Python file, test sample file to Python file, test SPT Python file, all these test methods were created as part of the previous sessions. I'll open one of the Python file where you can see three test methods, three sample test methods. So what I will do is I would like to mark this test methods with the user defined markers. Okay, any name I can give at the rate PyTest, this is how we have to mark the test methods with user defined markers. At the rate PyTest.mark dot you can give any name i'm just giving this uh i'm just marking this particular test method with user defined marker known as smoke you can give any name here okay over the mouse on the rate pytest and import this pytest here one more test method is there i'll mark this with another uh, name pytest dot mark dot i'll say regression just give some line warning will go off here at the rate pytest dot mark dot here also this one also i'll say regression Okay, so there are three test methods. In this uh, three test methods of this test sample file, one I marked as smoke, other two I marked with a uh, user defined markers known as regression. Okay, smoke user defined marker regression. You can name it literally name this uh, test methods or mark this test methods with any name, any user defined marker name. Similarly, we have other files. Okay, I'll open this other Python files uh, where we have some other test methods. Here I'll provide PyTest. Okay, here. I'll say pytest dot mark dot. I'll give some other name. Let's say I'll give smoke here again. Over the mouse on at the rate pytest and import this pytest. That's it. Now I have one more file here. Also, I'll say at the rate pytest dot mark dot smoke. I'll say okay, like this. After that, I have to import this pytest. Done. So, like this, I marked their total. Total, there are how many test methods? One, two, three. Four and the last one is fifth one. Total five test methods are there. In that five test methods, three test methods I marked with smoke. You see, in each and individual Python file, I marked one test method as smoke. So three out of five test methods got marked with smoke. Remaining remaining two test methods got marked with regression user defined marker. Okay. Now how to take advantage of these markers? How to take advantage of these markers? I'll show you. I'll just click on this terminal. I'll just say clear. Okay. So, so now let's run these test methods with the help of markers. Okay. I want to run the test methods which are marked with only smoke. There are three out of five test methods in this project were, are marked with smoke. So if I use that marker for running these test methods, only that three test methods out of five test methods should run. So how to do that? For that, I'll write pytest hyphen ra. This is the common as as you know from the previous session, we can write hyphen ra. And after that, you just give this flag known as hyphen m. This hyphen m flag. Okay. After this hyphen m, you just give the name of the marker. So I just uh, zoomed it out and uh, something got broken. Let's wait. So after hyphen m, you just enter the name of the marker. For example, smoke. I just uh, enter smoke here. User defined marker, I'll enter. Yes, I'm okay. Now, if I press enter, only the test methods which are marked with smoke will run. Okay, this is what is a command I gave. Pytest hyphen ra hyphen m hyphen m flag for marker. And uh, here we have to specify the user defined marker that that uh, uh, that that you want to run the test methods having to run with. Okay, just press enter. Only the test methods having that smoke as a marker, user defined marker, will run. Here, how many test methods got run? Three test methods. You see, three got run. And remaining two got deselected. They didn't get run. Out of five, only three got run. Okay. So, test sample one, test sample file two, 
test SPT one from different Python files. The test methods which are marked with a user defined marker smoke has run. What if I want to run the test methods which are marked with the user defined marker regression? For that, here I have to write pytest hyphen ra hyphen m again hyphen m stands for marker followed by the name of the marker user defined marker regression. Press enter. Only two test methods will run. You see. Out of five, only two got run in there. One got failed, one got passed. Okay, these are the two test methods which got run like this. What if I want to run both smoke and regression user defined markers? The test methods which are marked with either smoke or regression, I want to run. In that case, I have to use some regular expressions. Okay, so I have to specify the regular expressions. After hyphen M, I have to give this regular expression like smoke or regression in double quotes. I have to mention. Let me show you what I have to do. PyTest hyphen RA hyphen M flag for marker and double code give the regular expression that is smoke or regression. The rest methods which are marked with the user defined marker smoke or the rest methods which are marked with the regression marker will run. So total five out of five test methods will run in one, one will fail and four will pass. Total five got run. Like this, we can run the test methods with the help of user defined markers. Okay. So this is the advantage of using markers. We can using markers. We can mark the test methods with the user defined markers and thereby categorize the test methods. And while running this test, we can customize which test to run, which category of uh, test to run. Okay. Smoke related tests need to be run or regression related or both smoke and regression. Okay. You, with the help of regular expressions, you can use any combination to run the test methods. Okay. So this is all about the user defined markers in PyTest and how to use them and what is the purpose of using them in PyTest. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye bye.